Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Imperator Rome. Welcome back for episode 12 of our Punic Power Carthage run here, where we are in that civil war that I decided that, well, you know, it would be a little interesting to start here. Um, unfortunately, what I didn't expect is for them to get a lot more of my units than, than I thought they would. So, we ended up with 97 of our total units and they got 131. Meaning we kind of have to balance out the numbers here. Uh, also, what was shown as evidenced here is that as they siege down more things, the revolt tends to grow. Which is, it's interesting, but it's not really the hardest thing. It's the same thing as a slave revolt, really. Um, except slave revolts just create an army over time, not really, you know. They don't really uh, claim land. That's the difference between a slave revolt and a, um, and a civil war, I suppose. So we're going to send this guy down to here. We're going to clean up all of these areas. Uh, the rest of them should be confined to um, confined to Sicily. There's nowhere else for them to go, which is nice. Um, and the enemy did not inherit any sort of navy, meaning they're stuck there. There's no way they can leave, which is good. Um, that means we can actually escort this army out so they can survive and fight another day. So they'll be able to, you know, continuously... Bring things back under their control in Sicily, but in the end we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to control the island once again, and we have a long time to prepare. I'm not very worried about this civil war either, especially if they decide to go and siege down these before they try to siege down anything else as well. Uh, they also have a severely limited manpower pool. I've seen you can see right there, and I guess they started building units already. Okay. Uh, well, this army is being created. Well, actually, this army needs a leader. He's gonna go over and deal with those guys. Oh, apparently I just unlocked a... Did I... I'm so confused now. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Uh... Okay. So he died. <laughs> the leader of the opposite side of the Civil War just straight up died. He he just died. <laughs> um. Okay. I, I I don't. I don't really understand what just happened here. Uh, but okay. So I just unlocked the uh, the Triumvir achievement for surviving a Civil War. I hadn't done that before. Um, so I think this, this goes to, to say, you know, needlessly, to, I, I don't think I really need to say this, but, uh, Civil Wars are a little bit broken. Um, maybe they need a little bit of work, because I don't think I was supposed to win that. Um, unless I was because he died, which, which be, would, would be really lucky, wouldn't it? I'm a little confused, but also a little relieved that I didn't have to fight that Civil War at all. Um... I'm a little bit, you know, in between, I guess. Huh. Well, anyways, uh, let's move past that and move on to the next things we have to go on with. Uh, we're, we're, you know, doing okay on the aggressive expansion. I'd prefer to let it drop down um, quite far, actually. Because we can't stomach the um, all the terrible things that's happening to us because of our aggressive expansion. So rather than, like, trying to maintain it at, like, a high balance... I would like to maintain it at a low balance, if that makes any sense. Because it's because it's a ticking down mechanic and it's not an all at once collapses down to zero mechanic like an EU4, you really don't want to keep it maintained high because that'll create long term effects for you rather than bearing the high cost for a short amount of time. If that makes any sense. So let's reestablish all of our trade in these areas. Um, is the food doing okay? Yeah, the food's okay. The loyalty, yeah, the loyalty's doing all right over here as well. Okay, so let's go with stuff like uh, like that. We're gonna decline pretty much everything. You guys are still getting the fish you need, which is good. Um, these guys can just stay home, I guess. We're still building. We still we still have to build these armies, I guess. But yeah, that that's that's interesting. All the stuff that happened here. Um, yeah, let's resend in all the stuff we need to, to give over. 
like dyes and wine and all that. Maybe some, uh, maybe some iron as well. Maybe some furs, just to get that local economy back up. With our own uh, imports to give us bonuses. So we want to, maybe a little bit more wine in here, why not? Well, maybe why not would be because we have, like, very few free men in here, but... Oh well. Alright, how about over here? You guys need something too. So let's get you some wood. You guys uh, apparently also need something new, so let's get you... Grain. Grain can go to a whole bunch of different places, actually. Uh, over here, let's get some fish, maybe some, I don't know, precious metals. We can also check our uh, trade routes by looking over here. So one over here, let's go with grain. Need one over here, let's go with fish. Need one over here, let's go with, I guess, precious metals, if nothing else. We also need one over here, but uh, I guess I'm setting out too much stuff, so let's go and get rid of that. Uh, what would be good over here? You guys are doing fun, but I'd prefer to swap you over to something different, so I should give you loyalty, right? So if I'm exporting a precious metals, I should get rid of that. Precious metals. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, we need more money, right? Yes, of course. Uh, there we go. Move that over. Maybe we can swap you off of this. Maybe harsh treatment would be a different swap. That'd be okay. Uh, how about we just make you... Religious conversion. Yeah, and you're still doing fine. Okay. The capital needs a new import as well, because we just stopped exporting. That, that Wait, that makes no sense. I don't know. We can give the capital some food, I guess. That might be important in the future. And, uh, yeah, now we have a bunch of new armies here, which is nice. All of these guys can group up and go down here. Well, alright then, that was definitely interesting. But, uh, now we end up with that new effect, the... What is it? Uh, support of the minorities for the rest of the game. So, you know, a really simple, lucky, I guess, civil war later. And, um, oh, well, I guess it's, it's free. It's a free 5%. We lost one battle, that was the whole cost of it. Which wasn't too bad. Um, ooh. Who loses their position? Rafet. The Rafet loses their position. Over here. Agisco. I suppose. Doesn't make much of a difference to me. We'll give this guy a new leader. Um, you know, the good thing is, all the new leaders will be loyal, which is very nice. Um, nope, oh, new ruler, there we go. Barbarians, a siege is over. Oh yes, of course, there's still barbarians down here. Let's go and get rid of those. These guys, apparently we need to address our navy again. Over here. With, uh, naval landings, there we go. And you down to here. Hopefully there have been no problems with the recording. Yeah, no, okay, good. Just making sure. You get paranoid after the first few times it doesn't work. So you felt loses popularity, or we lose a lot of money, which is not good. Ooh, the quakes in Malacca. Oh wow, where is that? Hmm. Oh boy. Uh, lose 5 stability, we can just gain that back. Either way, we either lose the money or we lose popularity. I think we'll go with this. Right? Um, then over here we'll donate to the poor. We'll decrease a bunch of maintenances to get that done. Yeah. 
So it's going to cost us a little bit, but a few months later we should be okay. Um, in fact, let's go and give ourselves some more commerce income to help with that as well. I have more trade routes. Just in the capital. Oh, and over here, of course. Okay, well, we have nothing to give them for now, so... I'll have to wait until they, uh... Something's ready. Alright, then. Well, I guess it's just the aggressive expansion waiting game for now. Maybe I could, uh... Do I want to abort this mission, though? I don't know if we get it back, though. Oh, we will not be able to start it until 20 years have passed. Well, we get approximately 1.44 each year down. Yes? I I'm doing math correctly there, right? Yeah. So it's going to take 20 years at least, correct? Yes. So we might want to abort the mission. Yeah. We can restart it later. Uh, we can, you know, try and be internal in the rest of our stuff. Increasing food supply and stuff like that. So let's start off with our, uh... Fruits of Musulamia. Musulamia? I don't know. Musulamia. Which I'm assuming is just build all the fruit things. Which sounds, you know, good enough to me. Uh, we happen to need a little bit more money, though. Which we'll get back. Hopefully no deficit this month. Ah, nice. No deficit, uh, you know. No deficit event, which is quite nice. Uh, but the music, I feel like, is a little bit loud. I think I might have bumped it up during a, uh, just while I was playing it by myself and didn't really bring it back down. Okay, that's fine. So let's build ourselves. Uh, we want stuff with, say, the fruits, right? Did it mean literal fruits? It might have. It might have meant literal, like, farming settlements, which would make sense, yes? Farm estates. This is literally... Hold on a second. Is this, uh, is, is this, lo like, you know, slightly unplayable? It says farm estates in all settlements producing food, um, but they're actually called farming settlements. Hmm, I don't know, seems a little unplayable to me. I don't know, it could be, it could be a little unplayable in my opinion, who knows. I'm just joking, of course. Yeah, there's a slight, you know, um, what is it, discontinuity or something? You know, it doesn't really match up. That's fine. Uh, let's also bring some more fish over here, I guess, if nothing else. Or grain. You know what? Yeah. Just give Letium a bunch of food, because apparently that's what they need. If nothing else, just a bunch of food. Okay, you guys will uh, finish off the barbarians here. Thank you. Barbarian's gone. We'll bring you back up to here. And still shock action is fine. Uh, we'll bring, bring bring down this cost so that we can start focusing on our internal things. Um, like building farming settlements, not farming estates. I don't actually care that much. Uh, next we have... Thabraca being the um, province capital of... The Bracania. You're gonna have to show me. Oh, there it is, okay. So you want this to be at one, a city, and two, the local capital. Correct? Correct a mundo, okay. Well, to do that, we're gonna need a little bit more money, which is a few months ahead, not a big problem. Um, I suppose we should also move the local capital here already. Yeah, okay. Local capital being moved. Martial advances have gone up, that's pretty nice. And then we'll start building the city in one month. Um, also, we can start importing some extra things. I oh, don't know what's going on with the frame rate. Keep stuttering, I don't know. It's still a bit of a problem I've noticed since 1.3 came out. Stuttering every now and then. Yeah, just zooming in and out is a bit of a stutter. Yeah, that's it. Everything else pretty smooth, not a big problem. No other complaints, really. Okay, then. Uh, Alright, city status. Let's bump that up. Get that going. Alright. Mediterranean Sea Trade. All ports have a city status and are fortified. Okay. Well, is there a fourth one am I missing here? 
There are only three ports here, right? Am, am I losing my mind? Am I losing it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because you're not a city. Okay, I gotcha. So you need to be a fort and be a city over here. Okay, I was losing my mind a little bit because I didn't notice he wasn't a city. It just doesn't show it up for some reason. Um, it is a port settlement, though. So we'll start with building... Uh, yeah, we'll build a fortress. Or, no, 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 we won't. <laughs> Keep changing my mind, I'm sorry. Um, because we should go with the city status. And then after that, build this. The city status might interrupt the, the building of the other stuff, so... Uh, that's a lot of money we're not losing. Less likely to support us? That's okay. We're not going to be changing many laws, I don't think, at least. Yeah, I mean, they don't like us now. Religious factions like, nope, nothing. Okay, whatever. Uh, we could go with the next religious laws, though. Senatorial veto. To empower the populists. Um, if we empower the populists enough, by the way, we can go with um, lifetime elections. Which gives uh, election term duration of... Plus 50, 45 years actually, I think. So lifetime elections gives us a, um, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty long uh, time here. Yeah, you know, pretty, pretty long time. After the base of five years, uh, we can go with an extra five years or decrease it down by three years, or we could just increase it up to a rule for the entire life. I feel like we'll keep our um, Senate this run though, because I'm a little afraid of... Uh, I gotta admit, you know, I'm a little afraid of the other things. Also, why am I able to colonize so much? That's crazy. That was weird. Anyway, I'm a little afraid of, you know, pretenders and stuff like that. I've managed them before, but I don't like to manage them as much as I'm okay with managing the Senate. So, I don't know. I think I have a partial preference towards, um, Senate and, you know, democracies in Imperator. I like them a little bit better. Um, I think... No, we're actually not going to. I was going to say, hey, maybe we can uh, get the guys to start drilling. That wouldn't be very useful, considering they're not even, you know, at the right anything for that. Okay, so you guys are all fortified and stuff like that. Fortified in cities, this guy's becoming a city. We're making a city over here as well, which is about halfway done, a little less. Carthage loses money, he gains money, and they're going to help our diplomatic actions. Hell yeah, I love diplomatic actions. Like perhaps integrating Aeol. Finally. But no, people still won't like that. An envoy of livestock, can we trade that to ourselves though? Yes we can. I'd much prefer to trade to myself before anyone else. To get those bonuses in all the places. One of our uh, one of our governors is dead. So let's get a new one. Um, you seem all right. Oh, you know what? I never even noticed. I never even noticed that there's a very faint white background, the same as these colored ones, behind the minor characters. I didn't even notice that. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. It doesn't have to be very good. Also, uh, we don't really need this, do we? No, I'd much prefer religious conversion still here. Over here we're doing okay, but religious conversion would be nice. Um, over here, we don't really have the points to change it, but I'd like to change it to probably cultural conversion at this point. Yeah, there's almost no Punic culture in here. Once you get the religion over with, though, um, you know, changing cultures becomes pretty pretty easy. Nothing too bad. So we see over here we've become uh, Majority Canaanite, which is nice. Conversion's going pretty fast once you hit the, uh, the Singularity. It goes up pretty quickly. So once over 50% of the population are, then, you know, it goes up pretty fast. Now, over here, when you actually do reach 100% Canaanite, uh, what I'm going to have to do is delete all the temples and start building um, theaters, of course. That's what we're going to have to end up doing. Also, there's been colonization I could have done along here like the entire time, and I just forget to. 
I always kind of forget we can colonize because it's never really a focus of ours. Nothing over here. None of it's our uh, culture. But some places we can, so we might as well take advantage. I'm surprised I also haven't really gotten a um, any mission for this area at all. You know, just cleaning up these areas. You know, maintenance. Maybe it would be in like naval dominance. Would be to clean up and own the entire island of uh, of Sardinia. But I don't know. We also have some barbarians that we'll go and deal with. Increasing the army. Okay. So after each of these. After this, we're going to want to go with ports. Port markets, actually, which would be to create ports or markets in each of these. Now, other than missions, I don't really agree with this. Um, because you don't always really use these. They're not always very useful, but... You know, we'll do it them anyway. Um, also, it says markets, but in here, when you click on them, they're called the market places. So that's another, you know, um, non, you know, uh, not not really consistent, you know, an inconsistency a little bit. I, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. I, it's it's slightly inconsistent. Um, next for here would be Federbocania garrisons, which would be to create a training camp in there. Now, are they called training camps? I am. Um, Confused. Yes, they are actually called training camps this time. Okay. Next we have bread and circuses, which would be interesting. Or we can go to the Granary of Africa. Hold on, so what happens here? Uh, Alright then, so... We need to have... Zappa be the capital of this as well. Okay. Not only that... But after becoming said capital, um, it needs to become a city as well. Okay. Reasonable so far. Uh, you need a governor. Okay, let me grab you. Yeah, this guy works just fine. Okay, so uh, you need to become the capital, the local capital, first of all. We'll go with that. Or no, we won't because that's... We might as well get the city started first. Also, lots of money, which is very nice. Um, let's go with money. Some money is nice to have. Any more trade routes? I really wish I could, you know, put this on my um, on my thing without like getting rid of something. What don't I ever use? I don't ever use the fortifications map mode, so we'll put the trade routes right there. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's not optimal, but it's slightly better, I guess. Um, these areas have, like, almost entirely slaves, so let's make them happier, I guess. You are dealing with the barbarians. Very nice. Oh, there we go, you became a city, which is good. Which is enough for what we want. And this is done as well. Okay. So, now we just need a little bit more political influence. We can create this little city right here, which will be nice. Barbarians are not quite gone, but defeated for now. You're going up there? Okay, let's go and crush them. Gone. Alright, brilliant. We can bring you back over to where you were, and decrease the um, maintenance right there. Okay, not bad. Mediterranean sea trade, you guys are very close to becoming a city. Hold on a second here. There we go. Now your city, congratulations. Let's get you, uh, what was it, two marketplaces, I think it said? I believe that's what it said, right? Ah, two marketplaces, however, fortify first. There we go. Now you over here needed, what was it? It was two training camps, or was it one? Two training camps, okay. The Granary of Africa needs to become a city. So we'll wait a few more months for that. Also getting kind of close to the end of today's episode. Uh, whoo, wow. I mean, the omen duration is not a bad thing, if you think about it. It doesn't actually cost you anything anymore to reinstate a new omen. It's free, so... I don't think omen duration matters much. I think they actually got rid of that in the beta. The, uh, one point... 
the 1.3.2 beta, I think. Um, where I think they got rid of omen duration as a thing because it no longer costs you money to reinstate omens or to, you know, whatever influence that it was before. The, um, I don't know, sun mana. It's probably something like what it was called. I don't know. Or like piety mana. I think it was piety. We no longer have those systems, so. That's just how that is. Pirates, of course. The fortress is going to take a little while. In fact, fortresses take decades, apparently, or just a really long time. That's fun. Oh. Okay, nice. Uh, let's turn you into a city. It was you, right? So either this entire thing creates 600 food. Um, was it a capacity of 600 food? or Province food is equal to or greater than... That's so much cheaper. That's so much better. Hell yeah, okay. Um, so we have a city here. We can actually turn that into a granary. Yeah, okay. We already have a city here, so there's no problem with this. Let's just create some granaries. It does kind of the same thing. Uh, but of course we need to do a few more things, like... Let's do a bit of conversion with the rest of what we have here. Alright, what's what's next? The port markets are going to be on their way. Um, that's These are fine to do. This is on its way, of course. Granary's on its way. After we need uh, shipyards. In uh, Teine. Or Teine. Which is over here. Oh, yes, of course. Greater equal to three foundry buildings. I don't, I don't exactly understand how you expect me to have that many things in this city. To be honest with you, can't possibly understand what you would, what you'd think that I'd have that much for. It's a lot of building slots. Um, that's done, which is nice. Free province investment. Those are always nice to have. Um, but yeah, okay. So you want me to have a fort? Two markets and three foundries in a brand new city. I'm sorry, the, it just doesn't work like that. To be fair though, these cities are rather nice, so I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly mind building some state infrastructure, but I mean it's just it's kinda weird. It's kinda weird in my opinion. I don't know. Also, what is this religion? The right one, and the culture is the correct one. More or less. Okay, good. Um, that means we should just start building stuff like libraries. Um, we don't need the training camp. We can get rid of that. You can get rid of one fortress. Right. And then we can build up a 6, a 7, 8. To get more research output in there. Alrighty then, so building a couple of buildings. I always thought this part would be a little bit boring, so... I don't know. I'm not going to do it off camera. I don't want to miss anything that might be important around here. But it's not the most interesting thing to watch, I understand. Uh, just a lot of infrastructure while we wait for the AE to tick down. Unfortunately, we can't even wait for the AE to tick down anymore because we have to end today's episode. So hopefully you enjoy today's episode. We're kind of out of time. I, I, I can tell without even checking. Um, anyways, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.